Well, today in the mail, I got me a, a plane here. This is the uh, Skywalker FPV, which is your first person view. And uh, it's pretty much just like the, uh, the UAV that we use in the Army, um, the Raven, which is you know a hand-thrown drone. Um, we'll put all the equipment in here, the GPS, uh, that, which is called the OSD. Um, you can set waypoints via Google Earth, etc. And uh, basically, you could just throw it up in the air, get it up to where you want it to go, and you could let let go of the uh, sticks on your control, and it'll fly the path. Um, so what happens is you put the camera right here on the nose of this thing. It sits right there, or you could take that little cutout piece completely off and put it right there and um, it'll go out and fly your path. The video itself is a, a live video that's fed from the plane here. I don't have all the video equipment but uh, I will get that eventually. Uh, that will feed back to your headset and uh, you'll get the sensation of actually flying the plane and looking around. And if, if you do a little search on YouTube you can actually see um, some of the videos that some of the people have posted on there so it's uh, just do a search for FPV uh, RC plane and you'll find it so <clears throat> what I got with it was this uh, 7 channel Futaba uh, pretty nice remote a lot better than the remotes that I use on the on the RC dozer um, I also got this uh, Tenergy uh, charger here and a 1500 milliamp 11.1 .1 volt uh, battery now a trick about this as uh, this battery here has probably been sitting on a shelf for a long time and uh, I actually got this in the mail yesterday this whole setup and um, you know I programmed the uh, the uh, battery charger here for lipo batteries and um, it, for some reason, it would not would not accept a charge. It said the volts uh, voltage was too low. So I took it to work. A guy was familiar with these batteries a little bit, and uh, he messed around, couldn't figure it out. He had an idea. And said, "Well, maybe the voltage is too low in the battery." And uh, this is a three cell battery, and you had it all set up for three cell to charge at three cells. Uh, he made a adjustment a battery charger here and set it for two cell and what that did um, started taking a charge uh, we let it sit there for a couple minutes to charge two cells took it back off uh, reconfigured the battery charger for three cell and it worked just fine so um, last night I spent like three hours trying to figure out you know doing research on this trying to you know troubleshoot why it wasn't gonna accept the charge so um, if you run to that same problem that's exactly what it is um, start off you know reduce the number of cells charge those cells for a couple minutes and then you'll get the enough voltage to get it going so the actual motor get all this whole kit right here your motor mounts and everything and there's another baggie that I have around here somewhere and here it is <coughs> it has additional uh, mount for your motor and that motor actually goes right here on the back side so it'll mount to this location right here something like that so it's actually a pushing plane um, you got a hole right here that will come out and uh, this is where you'll put your video antenna at and then up here on top of the wing it recommends that you put your GPS uh, connection so. so that's what it looks like there is a lot of work to be done to this plane. 
Um, there is a little instruction manual that comes with it. Uh, for example, the wings here, they're not cut out completely, so you have to make a slice, you know, right through this area right here, and uh, use some tape and make a joint, etc. You also got to put in your servos. Uh, like I said, those will be here tomorrow. And there's pre. There they are. That's where your ser servos will go. Your wires will run down this trough right here and into the plane. There's a door that could be cut out. You kind of see that outline right there. Um, that'll house all, of, house all of your extra batteries for your video equipment. And it's. Let's see if I can take this wing off here. But inside here, this is where you'll put um, probably your battery for the motor and probably your um, receiver for the radio. And if you take this off, the cab, uh, there's a little hollow inside there, a hole. So you can put a lot more stuff inside the plane. It'll carry a pretty good size payload, so that's it right there. It's the plane. I've got some carbon fiber. Well, actually, this is a, a metal little rod that's traveling the whole width. So, um, once again, like I said, you got to cut this out as well. So. That's what I'll be doing for this weekend. Just putting the plane together. One thing about these planes is um, if I can break it apart here. It's inside. This is a carbon fiber rod that runs the whole length of each side of the wings here. So it's, it'd be pretty sturdy. It's just, you know, this plane is made out of styrofoam. Um, when you land you just come skidding in like a glider and land on the ground. Same thing with the tail, you gotta cut that out. Little places for your servos for the tail. Um, the plane itself is two pieces and split in half so you got another carbon fiber rod that runs inside the plane as well. Well, that's it.